Hello and welcome back. We're uh, on to failure scenario two. In this uh, failure scenario, we're going through four different variants of a manual failover, where I actually run the command that's uh, this is right here on uh, the cluster node zero. This is my current active redundancy group zero, which is the control plane. And uh, we track and see how the, uh, how the things go. I should stop this first. So I have uh, changed my setup just a touch, um, not materially, but rather than having to activate and deactivate stuff, I've actually created a group configuration for my, um, in here, my protocols, uh, so OEM, GREF, and DFD, so I can just apply groups and then delete those rather than having to go actually in the deeper into the config, and I've done that on both sides. I've also uh, deactivated um, the graceful, uh, pardon me, GREF, DFD, and keep in the GRE tunnel are all off right now. So without further ado, um, copy this command, copy this it in, make sure our timer is ready to go, start our pings, and we're off to the races. So it came in, I left everything in, all the lights are still flashing on the front of the firewall. Uh, we're just, uh, hey, now, I see this happen sometimes on this failover. I, we might see another series of things that drop here as the protocols come online. There we go. <laughs> First time I did this, I uh, stopped the timer right there. Then I had to wait and then fail everything back over and now we start the recording. Yeah. It's boring. It gets more exciting once we start turning protocols on, and then uh, later when we start complaining and stuff. Okay, so that should be it right there. I'll wait. And I'll verify. Yeah, that was happy. Okay, cool. So we have a uh, few thirty seconds. About a minute. Yeah, that's about right. Cool. So I never pulled my cable out of um, the. Uh, Know that I was plugged into, so you can see I'm under secondary hold here. So I'm just going to move that cable over to node one, and we'll see that that's the primary. If we do a show chassis cluster status. We'll see that redundancy group zero now has a priority of 255. This is the max value for priority right here. Um, that allows uh, that node to just basically stomp on any other config that might be there and take over because you're doing a manual failover. You'll also see that node zero is in a secondary hold state. That is an, that hold state essentially is a timer. I don't remember the duration. I think it's like five minutes. Uh, it might be longer. I just don't have it in front of me. But it's essentially just a countdown timer that is meant to allow all of the you know uh, processes and demons that have to fire up uh, when the control plane does a switch over to fire up before you can request a, another failover where you can fail back to node zero, uh, which I'm not going to make you sit through. Uh, it's the same process and it has the same result. So what we saw here is uh, a loss of about, let's like, say, round up, we'll say about 35. Uh, it was what, 52 seconds? About 54 we'll round up seconds with uh, about 35 uh, pink loss. All right, I'm going to get this all failed back over and uh, we'll move on to the next one.